So I'm Colin Matani, uh, I'm a GP and Professor of Evidence-Based Healthcare and a Director on the Evidence-Based Healthcare Programme. One of my roles is to oversee the um, Masters in Systematic Reviews, which is one of our flagship Masters in the Evidence-Based Healthcare Programme. So one of my research interests is thinking about how do we translate evidence into improved patient care. So we can do that through a number of ways. Uh, and some of the methodology that I'm particularly interested in is thinking about how we use evidence synthesis and systematic reviews to inform evidence-based decision-making, but also how we use mixed methods to try and evaluate how innovations are being rolled out into routine practice. So one of the big research programs we're working on at the moment is to understand and evaluate this innovation of social prescribing. So social prescribing is a policy that's being rolled out or considered across the globe, um, and primarily to explore how we can manage people's health and well-being through methods beyond just medical treatments. So as part of that program, we have a research team that are looking at different ways that this could be rolled out, but also thinking about how we can understand how, why, and under what circumstances patients may benefit from the innovation. So I supervise both MSc and DPhil students from a wide variety of topic areas. As one example, one of my DPhil students at the moment is looking at the way that paramedics are being implemented into community care. And as part of that programme, we're working on ways of understanding how, why and under what circumstances this innovation can be utilised uh, most effectively. Within that, we're also working with a variety of stakeholders, including members of the public, policymakers and commissioners to help shape and understand our work so that it has most meaning. 